I've never actually said this. I'll say three things um, just because they need to be balanced out with each other. The first thing is what I've noticed in our culture, there's, a, there's kind of a new... When I was, even when I was going through college, it was just kind of automatic. People dated each other more regularly. Um, they pursued relationships and seemed like people really cared about relationships. They, they wanted to have a relationship and actually went on dates um, and then dated each other and then got married. <laughs> um, and I don't see that happening as much. It seems like young people who believe they're called to the vocation of marriage are like, I just kind of hope it happens. But I think, um, I think there's gotta be some kind of pursuit or at least some kind of, I'm actively open. If, that, if that's a better way to say it, I'm actively open. So I, there's something I'm doing about this. I find a lot of people um, who take their faith seriously have a high standards. High standards are great. Don't compromise the standards. Um, at the same time, we recognize that we have to be actively open. I'll say that, actively open. So um, what does that mean? Well, you know, if, if it was someone who's discerning a call to religious life or to priesthood, that means I'm checking out seminaries. I'm checking out religious communities. I am um, talking with people. I'm actively pursuing this, even though if I'm, I'm not sure yet, there's no one there who's, there's not a love connection yet. That's not a problem, but I'm actively open is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that one, at the same time, at the same time, to not allow your prayer to be dominated by discernment. I, I allowed my prayer for many years to be dominated by discernment in the sense of every time I went to pray, every time I went to a retreat, every time I went to a conference like this, they didn't have the conferences like this, but every time I went to mass, it was like, okay, God, what do you want me to do? Just, that's what I want. I, I don't care what else you give me by the time I get to the end of this retreat or the end of this thing. I want my vocation. I want the answer. And so I get to the end of retreats and end of conferences, end of mass, end of prayer, and still wouldn't know and say, well, that was a waste. Um, I didn't get what I wanted. So kind of a spoiled brat, kind of a, but I want to oompa loompa now, daddy. Like that kind of a situation <laughs> where it was, I missed all, out on all the graces God was giving me. Every time you show up for prayer, God is giving you a grace. Every time you show up for prayer, he's doing something in your hearts, but he didn't give me what I wanted. I wanted an answer. He wanted me to have him. So be actively open at the same time to not let discernment or pursuit of vocation be, that's not the end, that's not the fulfillment. You will never, ever, ever be fulfilled by, vo your, by your vo vocation. That's simply your path to get to close to Jesus. But you can get close to Jesus even not in your vocation or else you wouldn't be here right now. The last thing is, what do I do when I don't know? I'm actively open. I'm not letting it dominate my, my discernment, but dominate my prayer. So what do I do? I'd say, don't panic. I remember there was a young man who, I knew him in college. He left, graduated college, went to seminary. After a little bit of time there, he left seminary, started dating someone, thought she's the one. She broke up with him. And he was like, no, what do I do? Cause he's bopping around. He's like, I tried seminary. I tried this person I thought was gonna be the, the love of my life, this whole kind of thing. And then he just calmed down and he said, okay, if God calls me to be a priest, I'm going to need to be a man of virtue. If God calls me to be a husband, I'm going to need to be a man of virtue. If God calls me to be a priest, I'm going to need to be a man who prays. If I'm going to call to be a husband and father, I need to be a man who prays. Nothing's keeping me from becoming a man of virtue now because that's who I need to be no matter what vocation I'm in. Nothing's keeping me from being a person of prayer now because no matter what vocation I'm called to, that's the kind of person I need to be. And so to realize that every one of us whether we know what our vocation or don't, whether we're in our vocation or not, we all have to, whenever we show up, when we show up, we have to be a person of virtue. When we show up, we have to be a person of prayer. You don't have to wait to start being a person of virtue. You don't have to wait to be a person of prayer. But in fact, do your future self a big favor by becoming a person of virtue and a person of prayer now. So actively open. Don't let your discernment, don't let discernment dominate your prayer, but be a person of virtue now.